Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create VS Code snippets using the Snippet Generator plugin. So sometimes you're working on a project where a lot of the files really need to be the same. Um, it, this is this is common if you're working in something like the like the React front end, where every single component essentially has a, a basic starting point um, that you're going to to start with. Um, I often use the uh, command RFCE, which is part of the ES7 Plus uh, React Snippets plugin, which you can search on uh, on VS Code Extensions place for that. Uh, it's a great plugin. Um, but I also have been creating a lot of Lambda functions in Go, just based on my recent project Guardian Forge that I, I released recently. Um, well. Every single Lambda function in Go basically has the same starting point, so I figured it would probably be worth my time to figure out how to create these snippets myself. And that's when I stumbled upon the Snippet Generator plugin, and uh, I'll show you what it does now. Okay, so before we get started, um, one of the things you'll need to do, obviously, is install the plugin. So I have VS Code open here. Uh, let's go ahead and find that plugin. Just type in Snippet Generator. And the one you're specifically interested in is this first one that lists here by uh, Wenfeng Du. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Forgive me if I pronounce that incorrectly. Um, but you want to make sure you install this, and then this is really all you need to, to get started. Now, what this lets us do is we can create a new file. You can see I just have a, a basic Go function here. It does nothing but log out Hello World, which is all we really need for the demonstration. Uh, so I'm going to create a new file here, and then I'm going to paste in some sample code uh, that I have that more or less is a shell of almost every single uh, Lambda function I write in Go. So if I paste this in here, you can see we have package main, we have a couple of imports in here, including my utils library. Um, and then I also have this Lambda router, which lets me route uh, requests to different functions based on the method that's coming in. The code itself is not important. What is important is the, the kind of power that this plugin gives us. So I'm going to do control A to select everything on the screen, uh, control shift P to open my command palette. And there is a uh, command here called snippet generate snippet here we go so we'll click on generate snippet then there's a couple different pieces of information you need to provide here the first is the name so I'm gonna say generate go lambda function enter the scope uh, scope can be scoped down to either a language file or uh, a project uh, I'm just gonna type in go because we want to be able to create this in any go file uh, enter the prefix now this is what's important this is actually the text you're gonna type in uh, to your editor in order to generate the snippet so I'm gonna type in go hyphen lambda and hit enter Description is optional. I don't really care, so I'm going to hit enter. And you can see down here we have this snippet has been copied to clipboard, which is exactly what we're looking for. So now here's where things get a little bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. We need to add this into the user uh, configured uh, snippets. Uh, so control shift P again to open our command palette. And I'm just going to type in snippet and tab down here a little bit. You can see there's this configure user snippets. Let's hit enter here. And we're going to create a new file. And let's name this. Um, I B Morrison is kind of my name, so we'll just do B Morrison snippets hit enter so you can see this file is created for you and it has some comments in here just to kind of give you a, an understanding of how to create your own um, but my preference my my uh, opinion I tried creating these myself myself and it seemed a little more complicated than I wished for it to be just because all I, I knew exactly what I wanted so I'm gonna get rid of all this and then all I have to do is control V to paste in that uh, snippet that we generated and you can see it's got uh, line by line inside the body what this snippet should look like so I'm going to save this, close this out. We don't need this code anymore, and I'm going to close this out. Don't save. Uh, in my main.go file, I'm going to delete all of the code just to give a, a blank, just to basically give myself a blank file. And now you can see if I type in go hyphen, there we go. There's our go lambda uh, snippet that we just created. Now when I hit enter, boom, look at that. <laughs> I have my entire uh, Lambda function completely shelled out for me exactly the way I want it to. And this really helps when the process of kind of like, um, if you create a lot of files that are very similar, like many in the many of the front end frameworks, a lot of the components are the same. Uh, Lambda functions, almost all of them, the starting point's the same. And even something like a Netlify function, it, you know, it's almost, it's gonna be the same almost every single time, at least for your starting point. So this is uh, super helpful. So there you have it. There's the, probably in my opinion, the easiest way to create snippets in VS Code. Uh, if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, give the video a like, share it with your friends, and uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, I'm at BrianMMDev on Twitter. My DMs are open, so you could always reach me there. Uh, or if you want to get more in-depth with Code Chat, uh, I'm on the Discord Learn, Build, Teach, uh, run by James Q. Quick. LearnBuildTeach.com is the best way to access that. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.